Well, they are musicians who dominated the Canadian charts in the 90s and early 2000s. And now, decades later, both Matthew Good and Rain Maida are hitting the road together for a cross-country tour. Their history dates back to this iconic building, this studio, in fact, which was home to much music and many of their first performances. I recently took them down a trip down memory lane. This is uh, the debut on Much Music. Wouldn't, yes. Would you say that would be an accurate description of this occurrence? This is our uh, debut on a lot of things, actually. <laughs> All the way from Vancouver, and on a Trans-Canada tour, the Matthew Good Band have their second full-length album out. So we are sitting here in the library of the iconic Much Music uh, building. So many memories for you guys in this building. Yeah, it started here. This is a little bit like being in, you know, when you go to your parents' basement and they have all your high school photos and diplomas and stuff. I feel like this library might be a bit of that for you guys. Yeah. I, I, this is probably the first interview I ever did here. It was probably down here. Yeah. This is scary. Cause or out or down around the hall. When you see these, these different interviews, what do, you, what do you guys think of when you come back into this building? Well, it was iconic seeing that much music sticker on the camera. Mm -hmm. It was like, wow. Well, Actually, my, yeah, my, my mom vision. will finally get to think that yeah. I kind of made it. There was something about seeing it on TV. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was evidence of like life of an artist. You know, it was, it was very, very profound back then for yeah. for young bands like us. It was, I mean, this building is so iconic. Even growing up in Toronto, walking by, that was like the, the dream. Uh, I want to talk to you about bands. <laughs> What is that dynamic like to be part of a group? And when you know you look at these tapes that are here and they're full of your performances of being part of a group, being part of a band, do it's you ever miss that sense of brotherhood? I was in a group of guys who basically hated each other. We just, we just hit it real well. No, we didn't like each other one bit. I remember um, Gord from the Hip said years and years ago, and I didn't get it then because we were very young, but he said the hardest thing to do is actually stay together. Yeah. It's not making hit records, it's not. Hmm putting on the biggest tour, it's actually just keeping the dynamic and that family kind of, you know, in tune with each other and, and clicking. Our Lady Peace is lucky. We get on stage every night and I think more than ever now, we really, we don't take anything for granted. Since your early days of making music, both of you have established yourselves outside of music as well, humanitarian causes, and yourself, Matthew, in particular, about being a mental health activist. Mm -hmm. You were diagnosed with bipolar disorder around 10 years ago? Uh, in 2006. You've described the di diagnosis this way, as a relief, saying it was like finding the final pieces of the puzzle. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? Leading up to the diagnosis, I was suffering from, I was in a mixed mood state, so like dysphoric mania, which is, basically having mania and depression at the exact same time times about a hundred which is it has the highest suicide rate that in almost any state uh, mental state sick over 60 percent when you walk out of the hospital for that first time you breathe in and you think to yourself you know I can now add up all those days in my life that that symptomology existed and it makes sense so for me, it was just a massive thing that, that I didn't have to overcome anything. I understood instead. You know, I think the story that Matt just told uh, about his condition and, and talking about mental health and, and being bipolar, you wouldn't see that on television 10 years ago. And I think for your fans, and yeah. it's just, um, I don't know, it's pretty moving. It's, it's, uh, it's obviously incredibly brave and courageous, but it's, it's moving the needle, like, like you said, our kids, yeah. they're going to talk about it. Maybe that's the way it goes. Maybe that's the sound of something. Why was now the right time for you two to tour together? We played a show four years ago. We talked about it backstage. It took a minute because, uh, you know, I think we both wanted to do it on the backs of, of new material rather than making or turning it into some sort of nostalgia thing from the 90s. It, was, it had to be about new music and we're going to play new music. We're going to collaborate on stage together. As crazy as it, as it sounds, I've actually bought songs off of iTunes. Your own yeah. songs. I know. So you've done it? Yeah. I have literally bought songs off yeah. of iTunes because I've forgotten them. Yeah. Hey, you, have you got everything you want? Until you want more than you got? We 
the energy that we get on stage with is kind of the same, and that's I think that's like that. Speak for yourself. No? <laughs> I'd be on well, oxygen, be <laughs> ventolin, and oxygen within ten minutes. Did you guys forget the words first? Did you just forget the words? I want to go over some of the tapes. I want to. Oh, I'm going to make you look through them. I'm going to take you through Mom and Dad's basement. Oh, wow. <laughs> we'll take a look. Are you ready? Okay, Matthew, we have queued up your third appearance here. It's okay. an interview from 1998. Do you want to hit play? Yeah, sure. Can I have like my weight and my hairline back in that? <laughs> really? You can definitely tell we've been on the road for a while because you got the grumble voice, you know what I mean? Okay, Rain, this is your turn. This is actually, we have found your very first appearance oh here my at Mushroom This is oh, from wow. 1994. Are you ready? Whoa. Have you seen this before? No. So this is a first? I'm not sure I want to. All right. You aged well. <laughs> Unbelievably I'm well. Glad I lost that jacket. <laughs> well, thanks for dropping by, you guys. Nice meeting you. I love that. Nice meeting you. Yeah, right. That's the beginning of the story. There you go. That's when Canada I met you. I must have been. I mean, I I can tell. I was nervous. Yeah, I could see it in like my body language and. I feel I feel bad for myself there. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> I do, honestly do. <laughs> Sweating as much as I was there here, you know. Guys, thanks for letting us do this. Thanks yeah, for letting thank us you. dig thank into you. the memories and coming through and being in the library here with us. It was a lot of yeah, fun. Yeah, it was cool. I think they both still look good. Matthew Good and Our Lady Peace will kick off their tour in St. John's, Newfoundland on March 1st. One dollar from every ticket sold will be donated to War Child Canada.